Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today. Well, listen, I just wanted to reach out. You know, I was thinking, I just wanted, can I have a conversation with y'all today? You know, I was just thinking, even in this community, you know, I can see, you know, activity in the community. And God revealed to me this one thing that the enemy wants to create drama, ill feelings, strife, confusion, and madness between the male and the female. I want you to understand that the devil knows that God has put enmity between him and the woman. So what he has done over time is he has tried to make mockery of his position that God has given him by entering into the mind of men and women to get them to beef at each other. I want you to understand that it is no way in hell that we can do the work that God has called us here to do beefing with one another. I want you to understand that God allowed you to click on this video today and this chosen one community because you are the future of this whole generation. You set the tone of everything that comes after you. And God is saying for you today as a male and as a female to get on one accord. Because I want you to understand that the devil himself has come into this community with shenanigans. All right? He has. He's come up in here with shenanigans to try to create friction between males and females in this community. And although, you know, the community is growing and it's so big, I can't catch it all. But if I catch you with it, I'm going to let you know that you are going to be drafted to the eternal block party. I just need somebody to go ahead on and get that in your spirit. That when the devil starts coming up to you women talking negatively about your chosen brothers, baby, I need for you to go ahead and just draft them and stick them into the eternal block party. They might as well go ahead on and get a taste of what hell is going to be like because it'll be like you never existed. Men, I need for you to understand that when you hear people trying to get you to turn against your chosen sisters and begin to beef and talk negative and down on chosen sisters, honey, you need to go ahead and draft that enemy and stick them into the eternal block party. They need to get a taste of what hell is going to be like. See, hell, you won't have a voice. In hell, you will be like you never existed. I want you to understand that God is trying to get rid of the enemy between chosen men and women of God. We are on the same team. I want you to understand that he wants to create division within the body of the Lord because he understands that if he can create division where well, he did this, well, she don't ever act right. If you hadn't done this, you always messing something up. Ain't no woman deserve to be this. A man deserve to be this. It's, it's amazing how the enemy just be coming for women. More so than men. I'm not saying that he don't, you know, come for y'all. But I never hear, or I haven't heard of anything when it comes to a man aging, that's a bad thing. You know, I never heard anything with men going bald being a bad thing. Oh, but let a woman get a weave. Oh, but let a woman go natural. Or, oh, let a woman cut her hair or do anything. Let a woman try to have a little confidence. Dear Jesus, she's all bestowed for it. This behavior has to stop in the name of Jesus. It just has to stop. Thinking negatively 
about one another, it just really has to stop. I want you to understand that that is a spirit that is trying to come between a man and a woman to create division. And who does it hurt? It hurts the next generation. Because believe it or not, your son and your daughters, they're looking at you. Your grandkids, they're looking at you. They hear you sit up bashing a woman, sitting up talking negative about a man. That's what the mindset would be for them. They need to understand that God don't make no junk. It's it's good and bad and everything, but God is going to get the glory in everything. And it's time for us to rise up as spiritual men and women and be an example of how to live. We need to stop plugging in, tapping in, tuning in to absolute fools that's going to sit up and degrade either a male or a female. I want you to understand that. It is nothing wrong with bringing wisdom to a platform to help somebody to wake it to wake up in their consciousness to heal in their consciousness to know who they are and just believe it or not i'm just a living witness you know from what i have seen that it's just a lot of demonic energy towards women i know men you get it i'm not i'm not talking that you don't get it because i'm sure that you do get it but let me put a post in this community that's specifically for a woman. Like I put one in there for women to empower women uh, to announce that it is a singing women win uh, membership group. Oh, let me plug it right quick. Women, I'll need for y'all to sign up for this group. I can't do lives if ain't nobody in the group. Okay, I priced it at five dollars and ninety nine cent. All right, some of us will go over and buy coffee every day for that. But is, this is a community for us as women to begin to heal, for us to have private conversations conversations because what i am seeing is it's so much spiritual strife and friction and confusion between a man and woman that if i put something in here that's trying to you know motivate a woman or say hey the membership is open you know you are the most feared individual to the enemy and you are you know what i'm saying men are feel feared too uh, but women are just, it's something special about you because you incubate a seed and push out a human being. I mean, I just don't even want to go into that because <laughs> I love my brothers. But, you know, this fighting, putting each other down, talking down, let me tell you something. It is some good men out here up in the streets for God. It is some men that are faithful they are loving. They are protectors. They see your femininity and they will not hurt you. They will love on you and protect you and treat you like a absolute queen, honey, when you are in the will of God. I want you to understand that there are some women out here that will love you, honey, massage your little temples, speak life over to you, preach to you, talk to you, cook, and treat you the way that you deserve to be treated as a man of God when you're in the will of God. See, the problem is that we get caught up, both of us, male and female, dealing with folk that ain't in the will. You have to be able to identify who's in it and who's out of it. And that's where the problem comes in. Because a lot of times we're going against chosen ones and being hateful and mean to chosen men and women of God. And, and we're thinking that they are the imposters when they are in the wheel. And it's important for us to have conversations, chosen conversations, where we can talk about some of the things that we're up against. We will never grow as women and men of God if we don't have tough conversations. I know this is probably like a tough conversation. And everything that I'm saying, I'm saying it in love because believe it or not, God is counting on you to be an example in this environment. Lord knows we got a lot of mess going on out here that we can plug into but god has awakened you for you to represent change in the environment not for you to conform with the environment not for you to continue to be hoodwinked by the devil so that you would think every man is a dog not for you to be hoodwinked by the devil for you to think every woman is a trick i need for you to understand that you need to stop dealing with people outside of the wheel get inside of the wheel so that you can have a, a ear to hear what the lord is trying to show you because the thing of it is is that that we continue to, to pick the same type of person and we expect a different type of result result that's insanity you have to do pick different 
You have to be in tune with God so that he can direct you on who to choose. It's so much love in this community because I see it. So much love in this community. And I want to encourage each one of you to love one another, to speak life into one another. And if there's a post in this community, whether it's for empowering men or women, you know, I'm a woman, so I know how to empower women, right? I have three daughters. They're all grown and I know how to empower women. I am learning and I will be the first to admit I am learning to empower my son because he is a male and there's certain things that he gets from his dad that I don't know how to give. I can only be an example of what I would want him to marry as an adult man. I can only nurture him and love him as my son and breathe life into him to let him know and to give him a representation of a godly woman in front of my son. Yes, it is easy for me to have every Tom, Dick, and Harry coming up in my house, but don't no man come to my house. Ain't no man coming in my house unless it's my husband, primarily because my kids are watching. My kids are watching me. And so I want you to understand that as a chosen group, that God has chosen you. He's awakened you at this time. And we should be so excited. But in the midst of the excitement, we have to be mindful, observant, and alert enough to know when the devil is trying to make mockery of the union between a male and a female. We are to love one another. It's nothing wrong with making a post to empower a woman. It's not saying that a man is not good enough. And that's why I'm saying, and I'm going to plug it one more time. I need for you women, let's get it up to 20 people in the Singing Women Win uh, membership group. Singing Women Win. I'm telling you, you have a song, you have a destiny and a purpose in your life. And we need to have a community that's separate where we as women, we can talk about different issues because sometimes just depending on where a man may be in his walk with God, it can be taken wrong and we do it in love. So, you know, I just feel the need to say that. So it is $5.99. I need you to run over to the membership tab and join that group. Okay. I have three other groups, Inspire, Transform, and also Awaken group over there. Uh, the groups are growing. As soon as I could get about 10 people in each group or 10 people in the, the three groups, I'll do a live. When I can get 10 people in the Singing Women Win group, we'll do lives. We'll do private things that we can talk about as women. Because the goal here is to enlighten you, to help you on your journey to wholeness, to awaken you even more in what God has put you here to do so that you can go out and do the work. Because it is still so much work to do in love. And until the next video, guys, peace. Because I believe in you. Bye now.